quickly thing that I noticed or I checked out or saw online, which I thought was pretty sick, courtesy of a photographer called Julian Klenichwitz. I think that might be a Polish name. I'm pretty sure it might be Polish, but Julian Kellerswitz took these amazing pictures of the one and only Peggy Goo. And it got me thinking about Peggy Goo, actually. Like, what has this lady been up to? I haven't really covered her on my podcast for a while um, because I just don't really give a shit, to be honest. If I'm going to be completely honest, I don't really care too tough about her as a DJ or what she produces in terms of music. And I think that whole period before lockdown where it, it seemed like you just couldn't turn anyone on social media without seeing her face kind of numbed me and kind of turned me off to her, even though I still think she's a really, really good producer. I think that overexposure kind of tainted how I basically received it. And I just kind of purposely blanked out of my head. But I think this editorial, this photo shoot that they did together for Numera Berlin is absolutely incredible. She looks really fucking good. And I love 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 the juxtaposition of her wearing what looks like chanel um in the flipping berlin underground which is you know a cesspool of absolute delinquency and deviance and um horribleness and here she is wearing garments that cost maybe more than what that station is worth which is absolutely incredible to see um the pictures are fucking fabulous i'm not going to lie she looks really fucking good man like really good pictures if there's one thing about peggy good she's going to do She's going to wear cool clothes and she's going to take good pictures. You can say what you want about her DJing skills, say what you want, if she's got a ghost producer or not. But this woman knows how to take good pictures and she knows how to wear clothes really, really well. Um, so big up her for looking incredible. I'm not sure if that's a pink wig or if that's a, uh, her own hair, but regardless, it looks fucking sick. Like, look at that. She, I'm sure that's Chanel. I'm pretty sure that is Chanel um, walking around in some nondescript Berlin um, U-Bahn station somewhere, you know, on the way to go to a club somewhere the funny thing about it is that you'd imagine some clubs in berlin wouldn't let you in wearing this sort of outfit which is fucking hilarious because you know more often than not you would imagine you'd probably have more money than most people in that club wearing this sort of type of outfit but you can't get in because you look too prim and proper but yeah regardless it looks fucking great in it so really love the shots i'm not sure how we achieved this effect I'm not sure if this is an overexposure underexposure thing maybe it's a situation with the color on the of the film or the condition of the grain of it but it looks fucking great in it like it looks really really good so big up um big, oh yeah, it is a chanel cool so it's all chanel so this is his caption here pay good for numero berlin full editorial styled in chanel in the new issue of numero berlin and obviously all the assistance all that stuff you can check out yourself if you want to but yeah she looks absolutely incredible here man really really look good so big up her actually let's see what what has she actually been up to I haven't checked out Instagram and seen what she's done in time, to be honest. Ever since that whole Daniel Wang affair, I don't really know what, what her deal is or what she's doing or whatnot. Bloody blah, 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 blah. But this is what, six hours ago? A clip from Basel. <laughs> Absolutely ram jammer, though, isn't it? People are happy to see her play. So big on that. What's, it, what's, it, what's, that, what's that fan say? Peggy Goo brought the heat to Basel. Thank you. Nice. A little bit beg, beggy, but you know, I get it. Um, Obviously recording, going around town and stuff. What's this, another sponsor, I'm assuming? Oh, back behind the scenes with cans with Magnum and Kylie Minogue. No, I'm not going to do that. No, thank you. Um, but yeah, it looks like she's doing pretty well for herself. So big up her. She played at Melt Festival recently, it looks like as well. Which which looks like a pretty sick festival in terms of what festivals that go on in Germany. The lineup looked incredible. I love um, all these fucking cranes and stuff they got in the background. There's a, some, for some reason, there's a flipping pool, no, a lake in the middle of the venue that people go and swim in and take pictures and shit in. That looks pretty sick as well. It's a pretty decent lineup of people very eclectic in terms of it and obviously they've got some big blockbuster type people like peggy playing there too so it's a pretty decent one definitely we recommend checking it or adding it to your list of places that you want to check out a melt festival it looks pretty sick let's play this clip <laughs> And also big up her for not wearing always black. You know, that's something so I have to give her credit for. At least she's out there kind of, you know, um, representing for people who don't want to always wear black all the time when they're playing or, or going out to events that, you know, you would imagine people always wear black out. Next 
next one. Cool. Yeah, nothing's really changed, isn't it? Still smashing it, still booked and busy. Um, personal beers and all that good stuff. Friends all over the place wearing nice, cool, expensive clothes. You can't really go wrong, in it. You can't really go wrong. So yeah, big, big up the goo master. Big up. Oh, look at that picture there. Look at that one. I didn't. I missed this one. She looks bang in there. What an incredibly good editorial. Jesus Christ, this. They fucking smashed it. Yeah. So yeah, big up, big up, big up.